The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest gay person that I know that lives here in Wichita, Kansas. He is none other than J.P. I and mean, that is some high praise right there. That is. Wow. There's like two yeah. of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, there's two. And we're both sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Yeah. And and another Keep dreaming. <laughs> and another funny stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Mr. Wreck or the Wreck, Derek Alders. I, I did them both. God damn. I accidentally hit the other one. Speaking of wrecks, there was a bad wreck trying to turn into your fucking street just a little bit ago. Was it really? Oh yeah. fuck yeah. There's some really? old lady out looking at Christmas lights and she stopped <laughs> right in the middle of the road. <laughs> School bus just Boom. fucking plowed her. <laughs> Yeah, fucking oh, shit. two fire trucks, fucking no two cars, and another car fucking stopped up with the hood up that wasn't in the accident. I don't know if they were just decided to pull over and change your oil real quick. <laughs> Maybe. It's entertaining. Man. Something about watching car accidents. It's fucking amazing. It's so entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Love you it. should check it out point of view style. Just stand That's in the right. middle of the street. Yeah. Point of view style. <laughs> yeah. Get out the dash cam. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Put a GoPro on your head. Oh, yeah, Let's I was going to say, wear it on your forehead. <laughs> Fun. Just run at cars. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep, motherfucker. <laughs> Have you seen the guy, the train the train guy on TikTok? He, no. he wears one of those cameras that kind of comes down off like of a helmet. And it makes his face look really funny, but he seriously is the most excited guy about trains I've ever seen. Dude, he's amazing. <laughs> wow. I, I don't think he is the most guy. excited guy no. about trains you've ever seen. No, you are wrong. <laughs> Dude, I'll show you. I'll show it to you. Oh, I'm yeah. sure you've met a few guys that were pretty excited about that. Well, things. here's the thing. Call those, those are hobos, Derek, not, not yeah. the other one. I'm yeah. not talking about that kind of train, Scott. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Different train, my yeah, bad. Yeah. Okay. Your sister knows a lot about these I, kind of yeah, trains. Yeah, those trains. I got you. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've listened to this show, this is a comedy <laughs> podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever in fact jp is writing one down on a piece of paper so Derek can read it uh but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and I make do know a guy that i call that <laughs> okay what's the last word thomas the tank engine but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and defend shit loads of people so if that's not your thing you don't like that you're in the wrong place get the fuck out of here thanks bye all right well uh yeah we've got a we've got a good episode for you I am. No, I am. I am. Dude, you sound like these. Steve Harvey, dude. Every changed. week, we got a good one for you today. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. It's it's gonna, a week. We're gonna. Boy, we got fun. a good one for you today. You guys are gonna. Every you guys gonna lift episode. me up because I am dragging ass right now. Every goddamn week, you come on here and lie to these people, I and know. they still tune in. They do. <laughs> Sheep for Jesus. you, for you guys, boy, not yeah, me, and that's right. fine. That's cool. Uh, but anyways, I respect that. we've got some sports to go over, some overrated, underrated, what would you do questions and preguntas, and a draft. And uh, as always, we uh, wrap things up with a shitty situation. But we're going to go over what happened to us over the last week. Uh, we call that our week, week recap. And we're going to start with Mr. JP because it's always the same. Hey, man, I did some different shit this no week, way. bro. Oh. Amazing. I know. Look at I know. that. Yes. I know. Yeah. Uh, I had a birthday dinner to go to. Okay. Uh, Saturday night, we went to Magnolia Cafe. Um, That sounds on familiar. 21st and... And something. Something, and something. out mm-hmm. east. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds, yeah. like, sounds like... Yeah. Sounds no, it was, it was dead. Really? There were 32 of us, mm. and I think four other people in the restaurant. 
Wow. Nice. And it was decent. Prices were good. It was good food. But I did order a lot of food because I did smoke all the way over there. <laughs> and uh, so I get there and I order like two appetizers, two sides, and then an entree. I was like, okay, here's what I want. I want the appetizers out first, then I want my sides, then I want my entree. Okay, yeah, no problem. I never got the entree. No shit? Yeah. So if you ask me, how's the voodoo pasta at Magnolia Cafe, I will be like, I don't know. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> but their mashed potatoes But their mashed potatoes are fire. Are fire. fire. And their biscuits are fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was fun. So that was cool. Um, I bought a new bowling ball. Oh, dear nice. God. And I had to buy it because, so Storm, it's a company that makes bowling equipment. Sure. And a, and a shitty the, be, the best, <laughs> yeah. The best bowling equipment, in my opinion. And their balls all have a scent. <laughs> yeah, that's right. most, most balls do. Right, right. No, well, yeah. yeah, but the scent on this one is called, it's Fruit Punch. So... I mean, I oh. had to buy the ball. Is it uh, is it crystal clear with a rose in the middle no, of it? It's, I, but they do have one of those. I'm sure there. they yeah. fucking um, do. No, but man, it's badass, man. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I threw it last night for the first time. Shot 265, 258, and then I should have got out of it, but I didn't, so I only shot 170 in my last game because it was just too quit. much ball. I know you I should. should I really should, but it was oh, it's fuck. I'm going to win a lot of money throwing that thing. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. My goodness. What? Uh, Not even breaking two. God. I know. That last game was rough. It was It was rough. But oh, so I, I could have bowled Storm, better, I think. I have an, isn't the Crux a Storm? That's what yeah, I Alpha Crux. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Omega yeah. Crux. Whatever. Omega, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. For the longest is. time, these assholes were making fun of me about snowboard equipment. Now we get to talk Look, about I fucking knew, bowling dude, balls. I knew. I knew the minute I brought up that I bought a new bowling ball, you'd start fucking off about snowboard buying. I was, Shut your fucking mouth. I was good until Derek chimed in and like, oh, yeah, I got this model one. That's the only one I got. Hey, all the people think I'm the coolest because everybody came up to me and was like, oh, <laughs> is that is that the new IQ Tour Ruby? I'm like, yeah, it sure is, man. Smell it. Yeah. Snowboarders are way do cooler than fast them by themselves. They sure do. Yeah. They, they better. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway. So, yeah, other than that, really, I smoked some pot. And, you know. So, so basically, the only different thing I did was go out to dinner. I smoked some pot and licked my bowling ball. <laughs> don't you don't lick. Out. It doesn't taste like anything. It just smells. Smells like fruit. You didn't punch. get high enough. It then. T- well, <laughs> touche. <laughs> no bullshit. Do they like? Do you have to wax the ball, or is just the lane wax it for you? I really don't. No. <laughs> Come on, that was a way good setup for low hanging fruit, and you ruined it. Low scented. Fruit. Does the lane wax it for you? <laughs> well, it's wax. Well, what you do is you just throw it down the lane, and then. <laughs> The oil turns to wax on your ball. That's right. It's and then you never have to wax your ball. Right. You don't and wax then you anything. Actually, after no, you, there's no wax. Okay. I didn't anywhere. Know. I just see guys no, with anywhere. like I just see no guys wax. with rags and shit. No, yeah, the wiping lane. off the oil. Oh, okay. You Bowling. can polish your ball. Oh, can you? With polish, but it's not wax. And ball toner by Manscaped. Ball toner, absolutely. <laughs> I like to use a little here on my cheekbones <laughs> just to tighten things up a bit. Uh, what what you're that? supposed to do, it actually does wax your ball, and then you take your ball, and then you just kind of throw it up against your truck a few times. <laughs> and then you that way, it waxes right. your truck. You roll it around on the yeah. yeah. There you so, go. So uh, you can borrow his fruit punch ball. <laughs> okay. And you can truck. wax your truck. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Nice. So, sounds like a great time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wear your GoPro. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to see this in real time. Drive through the intersection <laughs> by yeah. my house. Yeah, just do it right, right in front of that wreck. Just yeah, start try rubbing your bowling ball all over the hood of the car. Yeah. Uh, well, shit. I'm. I. I was bored. I was a boring human being this weekend. I. I did nothing. As opposed to. I'm normally pretty. You know, pretty active and try to do something. But this was not one of those weekends. I decided to drink way too much alcohol on a Saturday, like you do. And I was worthless uh, Sunday and worthless yesterday or Monday. And so. worthless, and worthless Tuesday. Tuesday because you haven't done anything too fucking impressive since I've been here. Shut <laughs> up. Nah. You already pushed the wrong button. Yeah. Twice. I did. That's okay. 
Um, we're not even recording right now. No, yeah, I probably, yeah actually, we're just doing uh, this for fun. Yeah, I better check. Yeah, yeah we're good. <laughs> we're just doing this for fun. No, but I did. I, I got to catch. I, I find myself like staying up whenever I'm whenever I'm editing podcasts and stuff like that. I I am up until three o'clock in the morning the day that we record. It's it's so whenever I have a free open weekend, I sleep a lot. I feel like just give it to him unedited. I don't <laughs> know how long we'd last. That'd be we kind of not. We would be canceled. We're, we're be pretty canceled. perfect. Actually, I don't think we need to. Add. We are like Jay Z. We can just do it in one take. That yep. is totally, yep. totally true. Absolutely. Um, uh, but other than that, I watched. Uh, I was really excited. I got to watch a lot of baseball for the first time in a while. So that was really exciting. That is pretty damn exciting. Um, got to talk to our uh, fellow friend, Mr. Tim Grubbs. Uh, he's the voice of the Wichita Wind Surge and uh, got to talk to him a lot about uh, what to expect the upcoming season. So that's been kind of nice. No, he's the, he's the PA, but there's, Oh, dude. he's nobody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah, just, I just a piece he's, of shit. I just, just read piece, the ad. Okay. He's a piece of shit. I thought you were the voice of the Wind Surge, bro. Just read the ad. That's what you told me. Hey, you page. told me. You were the voice of the wind surge the whole time I was sucking your dick. (laughs) You told me, (laughs) you son of a bitch. Now I find out you're just the PA guy. That's right. Now blowing number four. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But no, I really, I was uh, really, really worthless. Didn't do a whole lot. Um, Just watched a lot of TV and slept, man. And uh, and I needed every single bit of it. So that was my absolutely worthless week. How about you, Mr. Derek? Well, we wish you were asleep right now. I'm sure you do. Um, And didn't wake up. No, uh, <laughs> ever. That's uh, fine. <laughs> um, Draw uh, dicks on my face. Well, oh yeah, trace them. Trace. 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 Yeah. Oh, trace. I, uh, All right. Uh, I actually. Mine's gonna take up some real estate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna trace mine inside of his. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a nesting penis. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna cut yours off, and you can be inside Derek's. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, no, what'd you do, uh, Derek? Well, I am not an alcoholic, so I didn't get fucking drunk on Saturday. <laughs> well, then what else do we call the I, same thing? I got drunk Friday and Sunday. And okay, Sunday. There, I skipped yeah. Saturday yeah. because I was too fucked up from Friday. Yeah. yeah. It was St. Patrick's Day, and I yeah. didn't work in a bar, and it was on a weekend, so I actually went out nice. and enjoyed it. Mm. I also realized I'm old. Yeah. Because about 1130, I was wanting to stay out till 2. And at eleven thirty, my wife looks at me. We started about five fifteen, and she looks at me p.m. and she goes, uh, "Honey, I'm I'm tired. I'm ready p.m. To go. You had to throw <laughs> yeah. that in there. Yeah. Like we thought maybe you started at fucking five that morning. I, Whoa, <laughs> it's St. Patty's Day, bitch. Get up, we're drinking. If I didn't have to work, it's That's a possibility. How, uh, <laughs> Uh, I did drink for twenty three hours straight one time. Oh wow! Um, God, I bet you that hangover sucked. Yeah, I was in Vegas. Oh, uh, I man. shit a lot, that one. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Come to think of it. Yeah. Uh, um, wow. You don't want to break the seal. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, either seal. Yeah. Um, but no, so Friday I was like, yeah, I want to I want to I want to go till 2. And then at like 11:30 my wife looks at me she's like, "Baby, I'm kind of I'm kind of done." And I'm like, "Okay, let's go home." I really wanted to stay till two. Well, she's like, if you if you want to stay till two, I'm sure you know you you can Uber and I'll just go home. And I'm like, no, we'll go home. But I was like, I want to go home too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah I like, just had to make it yeah. seem like I didn't, yeah. so she'd owe me something, right? right. And then Saturday was I watched uh, the greatest basketball game of the year, and then Sunday I decided <laughs> to drink some more. And, uh, yeah, I, I love getting that text the next morning from my wife that says, you were on one last night. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't even want to know the story. I don't want to know what I did. I know I bought an autographed Dolph Lundgren boxing glove. <laughs> I know, I I know that. that. But I don't know the rest. I had a friend called drunk who always drunk calls me, and I never answer it because I know he's going to be drunk. But I was drunk, so I'm like, we're going to have a conversation. <laughs> so, so I answered it and bullshit with him for like 30 minutes on the phone. So, uh, yeah, I just drank a shitload of everything. Everything. I drank it all, man. So you guys basically did what I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's then just, you're making fun of me. That's just, cool, I, man. I wasn't making fun of you. That's just Scott. It, it's He's just, mean. it's like funny. Different I actually culture. did more than you did. Kind, you really actually I did. I don't know. I yeah. think I drank all the whiskey on Sunday. <laughs> all of it? I think all of it. Local wow. local whiskey distilleries are running out. No, Kentucky Gentleman. Oh, <laughs> oh out, Kentucky yeah. Gentleman. You got the good stuff. Yeah, he, well, he's a gentleman. Yeah. Oh, so I drank tequila, mm. like you do for, you know, St. We Patty's won't talk Day. about what You're I not, drink. 
Yeah, yeah well, we will. We know. we know what it is. But I think it's funny. We all kind of have this like these different cultures of what we did for St. Patty's Day. You smoked a shitload, and me and Derek drank a lot. And mm-hmm. alcohol from different parts of the world. And so, you know, that's that's what we do. You know, we're really caring people. I forgot to drink a, Ken- a Guinness, though. I was kind of disappointed. Oh, oh darn yeah. it. You, yeah, you kind of have you to. You got bad luck that. the rest of the year now. I think, so. I think that's right. And yeah. this is my holiday, too. It's for a short Irish, like, leprechaun. I was going to ask you if you painted yourself green and ran around town <laughs> trying not to get caught. Yeah, if, I did that, they if I'd have done that, they'd have been like, Shrek's on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> bad idea. Uh, not fucking me. Where's my donkey? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was it. That was God. That's that's some weak, weak shit for sure. Uh, but uh, we do have a lot of stuff to get to. But before we do that, we're gonna give a couple shout outs. First one, we're gonna give a shout out to. Um, I uh, told uh, or Jeremy mentioned this on a previous podcast, I believe. But now it is up and running. Matt Magnuson, who uh, we call Yoga Matt, he was on the show. It's been a couple of years, um, but he he kicked off his 2023 Visionary of the Year campaign for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. That motherfucker is running 11 marathons over 11 weeks to wow. raise money for that. That's that's fucking psycho. That's nice. fucking crazy. That's that's way too far to be running. Not as crazy as that guy that you're friends with that every he runs a mile, so he's going to be like 40. He's going to run 40 miles. Yeah, that's true. That uh, guy's crazy. 4.0 miles is what he does for that, though. Wow, fucking uh, slacker. Well, yeah, yeah bullshit. Well, I'm I four know. again this Anybody year. Anybody could run four miles. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we will Fuck. post We will post uh, the link to Matt Magnuson's um uh, his fundraiser to where if anybody would like to donate to that, uh, he will be very um, appreciative, and so will we. Does he take Bitcoin? Probably not. Oh. Not at this point. Oh, no. man, that's what you got to take. I know. Take Bitcoin. I know, but uh, now we get to move on to our uh, What about sponsor. Doge? Does he take Doge? Maybe. Okay. Maybe that one. He likes that one specifically. Cool. Um, or Shiba Inu. <clears throat> Shiba Inu is his favorite. Is that his favorite? I, that's his favorite. That's where it's at now. I think I think <laughs> Ethereum and Bitcoin are going. It's going to be Shiba Inu. Okay. I think is what it's going to be. Fair. Uh, but or what about those coins from Mario <laughs> Brothers? Will he take those? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got tons of those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right? shit. Yeah. Absolutely. Hell yeah, dude. I got Yoshi one time and fucking got all the coins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker just eats coins. That's right. Uh, but our actually, you think? <laughs> go ahead. Never mind. I'm just, just saying. Our sponsor for this week's episode is always Ego Ma- Waffles. No, they are delicious. Oh That's god, they're good. Lego, my ego. Exactly. <laughs> they are delicious, mm. but no. Uh, Some Jimmy my Dean ego. sausage links. Mm, Miss Butterworth. Manscaped.com. Com. Tastes they, terrible. They make it does. excellent products to help you polish your balls right there, JP. Absolutely, they do. Again, God. I don't use them on my balls, but I do use just a little here on the cheekbones. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm it, 73 years old, and you would not be able to tell that just by looking true. at me. Well, yeah. and you want to have clean balls, like because if you're eating breakfast and you're eating an Eggo waffle naked, <laughs> and then the syrup drips down onto your scrotal region, and then it's you hairy. Don't want a bunch you know of hair. How, oh right. God, it's a mess to get yeah, out of there. Right. So you just want to yeah. keep it nice and smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, haven't you ever had somebody like that was chewing gum that uh, was sucking you off and they got tangled in there? It's an absolute nightmare. No, we're very good. We can <laughs> we can chew gum and suck dick at the same time. Yeah, I mean, who can't do that? Yeah. That oh, seems just, like wow. That's talent. Amateur, <laughs> absolutely. But if you don't want those particular situations, one to time happen. I had a cough drop in one side and a fucking chaw over here. Oh I was smoking god. a cigarette and chewing gum, <laughs> sucking off three guys. Oh my god! <laughs> and that was just yesterday. But if you want to avoid those kind of situations, get yourself a lawnmower 4.0 that helps keep your nuts, shaft, and balls clean, and including your asshole. That's always uh-huh. very important always too. Got to stay ready. <laughs> yeah, that's I said, pretty tough to get syrup in your asshole eating it, breakfast. It, it really isn't. <laughs> it's not that it's, hard. That yeah. plane's got to go nine yeah, eleven. You it's need a high. funnel, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think I like syrup that much. <laughs> but, I don't think I want that log in my cabin. You know yeah, what I mean? I hear you. <laughs> the lawnmower four helps you uh, keep that area and region trimmed. They also uh, have a whole bunch of other products to keep your manliness trimmed. Uh, I know they do now have a beard trimmer that's out as well. That's their newer product. And they're coming out with something called the syrup catcher. I don't know exactly, <laughs> exactly what, what it, what it does. It's still, it's still an R&D. It's an R&D. Yeah. That's right. Uh, but they have tons of products for you to go and check out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code sidelines. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. It helps you out. Helps us out and lets Manscaped know that we are doing our jobs. Okay. 
You know, whenever I was a kid, I used to have a, a lot of nightmares. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I had a lot of nightmares, yeah. so uh, my mom thought it would help. Uh, she got me a dream catcher, but I was going through puberty, so it was more like a wet dream wet catcher. Wet dream catcher. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, good. Yeah, that's was, not good. No. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, coincidentally, was my name in high school. <laughs> wet dream catcher. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. God. Okay. <clears throat> well, we do have some sports to go at, over as we are uh, – Recording. We've got something in the background we'll get to here in a second. But before we get to that stuff, no, no, That's no. That's a sign, no, Scotty. That yeah, way. It's Chris Farley. Yeah, oh, yeah, over there. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. brackets are all fucked up. And uh, yeah, I got to say, I'm really excited about it. Mine's I'm, I'm, not too bad. Yours really? You actually filled one out? I filled two out. Really? Yeah. Mine's not doing too shabby. This is the very first time I did not fill one out. Really? I didn't. Yeah, I filled out two. I got three Final Four teams still, and I think I got like five Elite or six Elite Eight teams. Who's the Final Four team you lost? I lost Duke in one bracket. Oh, uh, okay. And then I lost Marquette in the bracket. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, that makes uh, makes sense. So I didn't have Purdue. I didn't have you yeah, didn't, you didn't, Kansas. You didn't have KU going to the Final Four? No, That's I had crazy. a losing to Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> weird. <laughs> That's what I was going to get to. Derek and myself were very, very happy about that particular event. I yelled so loud, the dog upstairs got scared. <laughs> oh, I was surprised you weren't in a public place. Oh, no, I was at home. I was recovering from Friday. Oh, okay. Uh, I was actually at uh, my brother's house watching said game, and they are kind of KU fans. <clears throat> I am not, obviously. So, uh, yeah, uh, woo pig suey. Hope you guys enjoy that one. And then I also did uh, proceed to do a tweet um, that had uh, basically a guy laying in grass with everything behind his back, and it just basically said, now you guys can go, all, or UK fans can go suck a dick now. Uh, I liked... Uh, you say that like that's derogatory. I know, but it's that not. seems Yeah, it seems like maybe it was. Yeah. Real cool, man. Well, then you can tell them they can suck my dick. That's derogatory. <laughs> that's derogatory. <laughs> it doesn't matter Trust who's me. doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, nature's uh, roofy. I yeah. like the people that are like, you know what? If we would have had Coach Self, and I'm like, I, yeah, I don't think he was going to shoot free throws that yeah. game. No uh, shit. You guys missed a lot of one and ones. Yeah. So we already talked about uh, Purdue losing as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, God, that's the second time that's ever happened. Uh huh. And you see, and there's always that dumb bastard that makes that giant bet. I think he bet like twenty thousand or thirty thousand dollars to win like three grand and bet it on Purdue and fucking lost. Lost. You fucking idiot. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, I don't get making bets like that. To, and they lost to Fairly Dickinson Knights. That is one of JP's favorite schools. <laughs> it sure is. I used to call him Thomas the Tank Engine. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did he, you now? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, now I call him Fairly Dickinson Knights. Yeah. Uh, and then Virginia uh, ended up also... Taking a pretty big – I think that was the first upset of the tournament because I think that actually happened on Saturday. If I it happened uh, on, to, on the same date they got upset when they were a one. Yeah, exactly. Same exact day. That was the other team that was a number one seed one year that, that ended up losing. Thursday, I believe, Virginia got upset. Oh, okay. First round. Uh, and then, People uh, really care about this, huh? Uh, they do. Mm, I, this that's is, weird. I will honestly say this is the very first year where I, I haven't cared. I don't care about college uh, basketball anymore. Until they get rid of the transfer portal, I'm out. It just it has no appeal to me. These kids are going to be on different teams next year, and eventually the uh, March Madness will go away in five years, and it'll just be Power 5 conferences is what it's going to end up being, which There's sucks. That's ruining it. 600 kids in the transfer portal already. Oh, I, I'm not, I'm not yeah. surprised at all. This is, this is getting ridiculous, and it's taken away something I used to really, really love. So, uh, But K-State, Jeremy Joseph is uh, very happy about uh, K-State making it to the Sweet 16. Congratulations to them. I think they're going to make Final Four. You think so? Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be cool. Have they? I'm sure they have, but I'm sure it's been a really long time. I didn't look into it. Yeah, I don't know, like but, but I think they're going to make the Final Four. Who do you got for your Final Four teams? The three I had in K-State. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I think I have Alabama, K-State now, uh, yeah. Texas, and Houston, or UCLA, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, th- I have UCLA in one and Texas in the other or something like that. Let me okay. See. That'd be cool. I'd be totally fine with that. I kind of I want Houston to make it just, just because I, I kind of like them as an American team, but other than oh, that. Oh, I'm way off. Oh. I have Alabama, Duke, Texas, and Gonzaga, and then the other one I had... Alabama, Marquette, Texas, and UCLA. Wow. Okay. So. All right. Well, that is uh, college basketball, so we can move on from that. Thank God. And move on to football because there's been a shitload more moves since the last time that we uh, recorded. 
Um, the first one, I, I know a whole bunch of people sent me a lot of messages about Jamal Williams is now oh. going, to, going to the Saints. Yay. Good for Finally, him. Finally, good for him. He gets good to be him. on a good team. You no, know, he, he was on a great He was on a great team. Now he's going when? to a mediocre team. When he was on the Lions. Oh, the Lions are a great team? The Lions are said to be the most improved team in the offseason, and especially when they still haven't had the draft yet. Man, they're good. Yeah, they're going to be good. Man. Uh, but no, depends, his, depends on the script. That's Maybe. exactly right. That's, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. right. No, but I love that kid. I, I wish oh, him the yeah, best. Dude. I think he signed like a three-year deal, if I yeah. remember correctly. But so yeah, I, yeah. I don't know for sure, but I just know that the Lions uh, couldn't offer him. What I guess I heard that the offer that they gave him was kind of weak, so – I, I hope he does well for him. I, I'm, I just fucking love the kid. But uh, Adam Thielen to the Panthers, mm. which, um, yeah, mm. good okay. good job. Well, that, CJ Stroud will need somebody, I guess. I guess. Well, they're already talking about, um, obviously, they're going to end up getting the first ra- the first pick of mm-hmm. the draft, and they're going to try to go after their quarterback. Stroud or Young, I guess. If yeah, it's so things, right? we know that. So, But Thielen's already talking some mad shit on social media. I've been kind of seeing what he's been saying on Twitter and shit, and I'm just like, this What's dude, he oh, they, that he honestly thinks that they have a shot to win the Super Bowl. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys release Ezekiel. Finally. Elliott. Now, if they get rid of fucking oh, Prescott, that's no kidding. That's no kidding. They I, should have gotten rid of him years ago. The year after they got him, uh, Zeke, Zeke, they should have got rid of way, way yeah. earlier. He, Fools. he was, he, he was on the decline. And we said that on the show years ago. Oh yeah, of course. But now he's like, nobody wants him. Well, because he sucks. Well, not for the money. He for the for, money yeah. is well, the just, deal. Yeah, yeah. He'll I end guess. up somewhere. He but will, but I, I don't think I it's going to be where he is. It, huh? I hope the Chiefs. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, I don't like the Chiefs already, but God, True. that that's just that would be awesome. Ugh. It depends on the script for the Chiefs. Okay, fair, whatever. Um, there was <laughs> it enough. was a good one last year. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins uh, still has not, at least while we're recording, still has not found a landing spot either, but they are actually talking about the Chiefs being a possibility or the Patriots. Those would be the two strongest, um, at least as of right now. Um, Rodgers to the Jets, still not complete, uh, at least as of now. Um, I I can't wait. I hope he goes. Uh, And they say that if he goes to the Jets, they may have a Super Bowl chance. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. That's it. My Ends God. On the script. And Brandon Cooks end up getting uh, going to the Dallas Cowboys. So uh, good luck there. I mean, that, that wide receiver core is going to be fucking stellar, but they lost, they ended up losing Dalton Schultz. So yeah. You also have to have somebody that can actually throw the ball. That's true. I mean, he can throw the ball. It's not, not that he can't. Yeah, it's he throws it really good to other people. Sometimes he does. Yeah. But anyways. But that's enough football. That's basically just movement, and that's all you're going to hear until the beginning of the season. Uh, oh, yeah, Baker Mayfield to the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I saw that, too, on a one-year deal. Uh, but but my favorite part, like I said, I've been watching a lot of baseball over the last couple of days, and while we are recording this episode, the World Baseball Classic is going on, and I fucking love every minute of it. Fucking great. Go Japan. I mean, it, sure, I don't care at this point. I thought that they did it correctly, like they, it, it's not just all of these guys that were born in America got to play for t- Team USA. No, if if you had like family ties to Korea, you got to play for Korea. Same thing with Canada. Like uh, uh, Tyler O'Neill is is Canadian, part Canadian, so he's. I hate for that you're looking at me like. I should be excited about this. I'm I have no fucking pumped. idea what you're talking about. I don't it's, know any of these just, people. I don't really watch baseball. I'm a cool. bowler. Yeah, I know. But Jason it, Belmonte won the Tournament of Champions this week. Okay. It was, was last weekend, which that, is fucking impressive. I love his ice cream. Uh, yeah. His ice cream is pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, at, at least. See what I mean? For, you guys just, whatever. Yeah. This is how I feel about what you're saying right now. That's fine. Just there. wanted you to know. Well, here's some really cool facts. So oh, actually, hold on. Yeah. You didn't tell me you had cool facts. I do have cool facts. Okay. He did say it was going to be a great okay, show. Okay, he did. Yeah. I remember that. Can you guess the World <laughs> Series that had the most people watching? 1980. It is 1980 when the Royals were playing yep. the Phillies. I was going to say 1901. No, not quite. Uh, there were 54. Everybody was tuned into the TV in 1901 watching that game. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> okay, fine. There were 50 
four and a half million people watching that game. And just over the last couple of days, the uh, first um, like pool game for Japan was against Korea. There were 55 million people watching the game. Then, Are you reading this off of a meme? No, this is, I, I actually had but to go and look and do it. Off of yeah, I had though. to because that was the best way to find it. Uh, but then they memes ended up, are always true. Japan played Italy, and there were sixty two point five million watching it. And there's a good chance that the game that is going on right now, uh, USA against Japan in the championship, probably they're expecting to be around eighty. So it will be the most watched baseball game ever. Well, so there's three. Count cool. three more in there. Why? Because we're watching it right now. That's well, right. The crazy we're thing part is, of the, we're part of history. That's right. Like Japan's playing right now, and Otani has just got out. Right. Yeah. He could come back up right now, and I wouldn't even know. <laughs> and it could be somebody else. Oh, you could bat Otani nine times, and most of us would not even <laughs> fucking know the difference. Just change jerseys. He just changes <laughs> yeah. jerseys. Just runs down oh. in the fucking... They got Newt Bar, man. Newt Bar's on, <laughs> yeah. on Japan. Good for him. Fucking so. does just a parent trap. Every fucking... Every at bat. It's fucking awesome. Show Damn. me a picture of your dad. Damn. All of, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a picture of my mom. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> but there have been a, like, a lot of, like like walk off finishes and it's been a great tournament. There's been really good attendance all over the world. So it's kind of exciting because it's like baseball's not, I think baseball's on a decline in the United States. Wouldn't you say so, Derek? Uh, yeah, they're trying to do everything they can to fix it. And sure. it's, it's, they're, they're doing everything they can to attract new fans that don't want to watch it. Possibly. So what it reminds me of is like, you've been with your cable company for 25 years and then you got some guy that's like, hey, you come over to the cable company from your satellite and you can have all the channels for $10 a month for the next two years. And you're like, fuck yeah. And then you hear your buddy got that deal. So you're like, hey, I've been with you guys for 25 years. What do I get? Fuck off. <laughs> pretty like, much. That's pretty much what they're doing with baseball. Maybe. Uh, you, you got come over you and got, watch the game. We'll give you bigger bases and a pitch clock. And yeah. you can only throw the first two times. Well, cool. And what 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 else are you gonna do? Like to make it better, like it used to be. Fuck off. <laughs> well, I, I I've really enjoyed it. Even if uh, Team USA does not win, I I thought it was really entertaining. Some of the best games I've seen in a long time. Trey Turner hitting a grand slam to beat Venezuela. Japan coming back the other night to go to the championship. It was pretty awesome. But the most important thing that i saw break today was edwin diaz's acl no oh. it is official slam ball will return in july with a six-week regular season and a one-week playoff in las vegas i don't even know what the fuck that is that's basketball with trampolines it's man the gayest shit. It was, it's that's so coming stupid. from a gay dude, dude yeah no. it's dumb man oh come the fuck on it was so cool back in the early 2000s I thought it was great. Oh, good for you, man. Really? Not at le- not even a little bit of excitement. Why? Because it's the only kind of sports where white guys can actually jump and look like a fucking amazing dunk, and it's awesome. Uh, did you watch the dunk contest, dude? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Matt McClung, come on. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but no, I'm really excited for that, but uh, yeah. Slam ball's coming back. Slam ball. I, fuck yeah. It's, it's yeah, really cool. Exciting, I think it's awesome. Did you hear the news? I they didn't. are going to have the World Hacky Sack League coming back. Fuck. Shut your mouth. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. I wondered when it was going to come uh-huh. back. I heard Japan. Yeah, really there's going to be indies one. and fakies and all that stuff, oh, man. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, fine. You guys are jackasses. <laughs> all right, well, that's the sports uh, and current events for this week. I um, hope it's on the Ocho. It, it, oh, it will be. Baby. Uh, but now we get I'm to move on. I'm pretty good with a sack. Baby. Maybe I'll... No, I said maybe. I thought you just went baby. No. <laughs> Did that sounded like that to me? No, I would never say that. It did sound like that. that to me, too. Maybe I... it's just my headphones, but it did sound like you said baby. I think you're rubbing I off I think he him. did. I and it, Freudian slip. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slip. Baby. I mean, he is jerking you off under the table right now, so the least he could do. Oh, now his hands come up all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. weird. They, where'd they come from, though? <laughs> under the desk. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that's fine. Fine. Why do you uh, think I've been looking over? I mean, I, probably, yeah. Trying to cop a cop a visual yeah, aid man. for that. Yeah. Okay. Camera uh, one. Camera two. Camera one. Camera two. <laughs> camera two. one. <laughs> now we get to move on to the fun stuff. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Um, guys, if you guys have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines. Wait for it on Twitter and Instagram. I am kind of making that move. Right now, toward Twitter, 
towards Twitter. Yeah. Elon Musk owns that now. Uh, no, it's just a lot uh, better because now our shit won't get taken down on a regular right, basis. Because Elon doesn't give a fuck. So he don't. Uh, and so I like it a little bit better, but that is, uh, it now has a new handle, which is at L O T sidelines. Um, so if you would like to go follow us on that, we're going to have a little bit more fun, probably say, or share a little bit more risk a shit because then that won't get taken down. What's the L O T stand for? Laughing Lord on of the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was hoping that that's what it stood for. Lord of I'm the about sidelines. To, I'm about to use your blood for makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no one runs on Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you can send them to us there. Um, but yeah, check us out on Twitter now at L O T sidelines. Jackass. Lord of the sidelines. <laughs> the third base is ours. <laughs> I mean, he loves it. He loves the sword base. <laughs> I'm sure. All right, so moving on to overrated or underrated. Uh, we're going to kick this off with the first one. Overrated or underrated, playing the penis game in a public place. You're going to have to explain this. Yeah, I know a lot of penis <laughs> games. <laughs> I need, like, which specific penis game are we talking about here? Uh, the one that everybody knows about whenever you're in a public place and somebody starts uh, saying the word penis and it just gets louder and louder and louder until somebody gets caught. Mm. Gets they don't caught like, saying the word penis? Yeah, it gets kicked out. or Kicked out for it. saying the word penis? Yeah, Where are you going to get kicked out of for saying the word penis? Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I know you can't show it. I know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's big time no-no. Yeah. You think that like there's some perv that works at one of those and he's just naked under the rat costume? Definitely. That's, um, that's no. That's, <laughs> that's no. Got to be a thing. Somebody. No. Ugh, that's gross to think about. It's JP's side gig. That's what he does. That's what he does on the weekend. Speaking of which, I watched a Jared Fogel documentary. Like a, the oh, I, I saw it and I have. Oh. I haven't watched it yet. Ew, oh, yeah. dude, it is so fucked Where'd up. Where'd you man. see that? It Netflix. was I have Hulu. It was Netflix. on Discovery ID. Or oh yeah, Hulu. that's right. It's yeah. On oh yeah, your Discovery subscription. Uh, you fucking moron. Love Discovery. That there one's were, good. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. There's like two little two girls, uh, and they were like, yeah, they found out that their stepdad had like a camera in their room and shit. And then after they find this out, as they're as they're older, and they they talk to him about it. And the other part was the way they got busted was because like in Indiana, the dad. Uh, had sent a video of someone fucking a horse. Oh, Jesus. And it's not illegal to have that as a video, but it's a, illegal to do that. And then come to find out it's those girls' fucking mom. Oh, God. And I was like, wow. Like, double fuck your life. That's terrible. But in Mexico, it's legal. Well, yeah. <laughs> of course, everything So is. they should have just done it in Mexico. Yeah, so what happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. That's what I hear. Mm -hmm. like, like the penis game. because what that's, the horse lady says. It's overrated. Sorry, that was a way fucked up topic to get onto. But <laughs> that is yeah, a so fuck, the, that's, the penis game is really weird. Like it is. It seems like you wouldn't get kicked out of very many places. Uh, I just remember it whenever I was in high school. That, Penis. I, yeah, exactly. It wasn't that big of a deal, but like if you did it in high school, you'd get in trouble for it. It was stupid. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I like to just go to public places and play it by myself. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> just go into the dealership. <laughs> Penis. It's okay. He's got Tourette's. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be fine. Well, I have a sign around my neck that says I don't have Tourette's. <laughs> Penis. Have you seen my baseball? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, JP? Um, the penis game. Yeah. I guess way underrated or way overrated. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. What penis game? You can think you of thinking? a lot. <laughs> where, Docking? The one where you go into a stall and <laughs> abracadabra, I make it disappear. Oh God, that's fucked up. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Performing sexual acts from the urban dictionary dot com. Underrated. <laughs> Of course. Very, very underrated. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, I don't know how you would ever go overrated on this. I have to go overrated. Why? If I give my wife a Cosby sweater, I have two <laughs> black eyes and no house to live in anymore. Damn Cosby's. <laughs> damn Bill. Damn Cosby getting me every time. No, oh, it's not. Cosby sweater so gross. It's not even that one for me. It, this is way overrated. And that is because ever since I've figured out what side pocketing is, huh? it's the absolute most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my entire life. No, it's not. Absolutely not. Which one is? Munting. Munt yeah, munting. Yeah, that's pretty bad, too. Munting is bad. Bad too. So yeah, this two is month. Yeah. Way, two months. Yeah. Way overrated. That's my favorite part of the definition. <laughs> Munting. Two months. 
<laughs> and then it tells you the rest of it. Yeah, but it's the bad. first two words are two months. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Wasting a telemarketer's time. I'm going to go underrated. I watched my good friend Brian do this, and I was fucking dying. Because <laughs> he gets these people to try to call and give him loans, like these 1-800 numbers. And he calls, and it was like for his business. And he's like, "Yeah, man, yeah, I could use that. I need, uh, I need to fix up. I, I need, you know, I could borrow against my car. I, how much do you need? I need like like a hundred thousand, man. My, we're not doing good. We lost like two hundred thousand this year. Oh man, well, yeah, you, we can use your car. What do you have? Ah, oh, I got a nineteen eighty four Cavalier, but yeah. it's on it's on dubs. Yeah. Like, like, and just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he transfers him to his boss, and then the boss gets on the phone. And he's it's like a 20-minute fucking call. And the boss finally gets it, and he's like, we can't help you. Like, <laughs> why did that asshole just waste all my time? Underrated, then. Oh, for sure underrated. Yeah, it's it's definitely underrated. And it, I, I'm the worst at it. I can't do it. I actually start laughing my ass off like Derek does when somebody else is doing it. Jeremy Joseph, whenever he did it, it was absolute gold. Um, but uh, And you're great at it, too, by the way, Derek. You've done it a couple of times. Have I? But yeah, uh, messaging people, for sure. Oh, messaging, for sure. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Um, but no, that girl that acts like she's like a automated or a, um, like a, I don't know, like a telemarketer voice, like recording or something like that. And she fucks with those people for hours or acts like an old lady. Oh, it's fucking gold underrated. Thank you so much for those of you who do that and waste their time. How about you, JP? Underrated. I mean, you said it had to be just a minute ago. It does. Yeah. It underrated. Absolutely. Fuck for the man. same reasons. And I, I can't believe there are still people that do that for work. That is awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Marrying someone after dating them for only three months. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> oh, uh, no. That's lesbians. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Third date is basically a proposal, and then they move in together. Oh, that no. Lesbians are very fast. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Gay guys, not. too, but, yeah, we don't. That's like, that doesn't seem that off to me. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I know somebody who just recently did this. That's why I brought, up, I brought this up. Yeah. It's a mistake. Yeah, it's I it. mean, no, it's definitely a mistake. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't a mistake. I just say it's underrated. No. I think it's underrated. I think people that do that usually end up working out better than the people that have known each other for fucking 10 years and decide to get married. Really? Absolutely. fucking lutely It doesn't matter how long you've known somebody or how long you've been with somebody because people change. Yeah. And they should change. And if you, you want to stay with somebody, you encourage that change and you're there with them for that change. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. So it doesn't matter how long you've been together. It's whether you're able to fucking change with that person and accept their changes and have them accept yours. It's, the not, end. it's a hell of a train wreck to watch. <laughs> no, it is. that's so, true. It's a, it's a yeah. win-win. It's a win-win. Yeah. I'm with you. Uh, Either they're really happy or you get to hear some fucking awesome stories. Awesome stories. I, I guess I'm different. I'm going to say this is way overrated. Uh, it super glued my balls to my leg because <laughs> she caught me texting my one, one to each leg. I can't even walk. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I, <laughs> If you had a manscaped, it's easier to get out there. That's, yeah, true. that's true. That's true. A little ball toner takes that right off. <laughs> no, I guess maybe I'm a little bit different. I, I actually had rules. In order for me to get married, I had to date my wife for at least uh, two years in order for me to pop the question. And then we had to be engaged for at least a year before we got married. So it was kind of just one of those things with me just to make sure. But we were also really young. And so I didn't want her to like hit 21 and go crazy. So that, I, I think I, I think it's much smarter to fucking date the person for way longer than three months. So that's just me. Uh, last one, overrated or underrated, penis implants. That's a thing? Yeah. People actually can get those. Yeah. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. BRB. I, I, got a, I got an appointment scheduled. <laughs> I just forgot I got to call a cable company. And they said they're going to give me cable for 10 bucks a month for two years. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't. Th you didn't know about this? No. Oh, absolutely. Well, God damn, why'd I get fucking LASIK for? <laughs> I don't know. I can see my penis if it's bigger. I didn't need <laughs> LASIK eye surgery. <laughs> That's... God yeah, damn what it. What a waste of money. Fuck. I don't know, man. It's just not natural. I just... Uh, I'm going to say... You like the feel of a regular <laughs> one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, somebody just came out. He's like, no matter how hard I squeeze it, I know it's fake. I know it's fake. Yeah. I can taste the fucking silicone. Well, well, you can tell because you know those air beds. The same kind of pump is the way you have to use to blow it up. Oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah nice. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sound yeah, of it getting ready to happen. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It sounds like if Scotty's you hear that, vibrator in his Yeah, if you hear that, it's on. Yeah, absolutely. This is underrated. I don't know if these are actually in existence, but if they are, it's way underrated. <laughs> How about you, JP? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of got choked up. <laughs> I'm choked up about the whole thing. I didn't know. I didn't know I could make it bigger. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I'm good. I don't need it. <laughs> you don't so need overrated. It. Oh shit. All right, fine. That's overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to what would you do? These are uh, hypothetical situations that I find and uh, ask the ask us and see how we would uh, react or what would we do. First one. Your significant other vomits during intercourse. What do uh, you this do? This is easy. What? There's only one thing to do. Put my clothes back on. Hold, <laughs> hold their head down harder. <laughs> oh, no. no. I hand her a towel <laughs> and say, I'm going to the bar. <laughs> no, you just oh. hold it down on there harder. <laughs> no. No, I don't know. I like like I haven't gotten the implants yet. That doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't. Oh, yeah, you need to get the implant first <laughs> yeah. for sure. I this is just awful cuz I think like if they threw up, she's normally mm. on top and so it's all over me. So it's it's now moving on to the shower. All so. over your helmet. <laughs> yeah, all over my helmet. That was good. It's hard to get out. <laughs> the foam <laughs> it will never be the same. There's uh, a lot of nicks, a lot of nooks in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Not to mention the crannies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the crannies. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, next one. You're telling a story in a group, but mid sentence you realize that no one is actually listening. Did you uh, see the deal? That uh, <laughs> I was hoping you'd do that. <laughs> oh fuck you guys! What was the what was the question? I don't. I wasn't listening. All right. You're telling a story in a group, but mid sentence you realize that knowing is no one is paying attention. I've never had that happen. Never. Me either. Mm-mm. Me neither. I'm uh, riveting. No, very. You are. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. what would you do if all of a sudden I, people? Stopped? It wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. It couldn't happen. I don't know, man. You're, I would just trail off into some complete bullshit. <laughs> I just don't. I don't see it happening. Start. Start doing gibberish and weird, fucked up shit. Yeah. No. Just be talking about whatever. Nobody's paying attention. Like, can you believe cock fingering's a thing? Like that <laughs> oh, is the uh, weirdest thing I've ever heard of. Yeah. Yeah. I. I. I don't know. I, this has definitely happened to me before, obviously. So, um, yeah, I, it, I it's it's say just, it isn't so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I got my snowboard bike. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, right. yeah that's, that's that's what I'm gonna start doing now. Anytime someone, if that ever happens to me, that's just how I'm gonna end talking it. about snowboard binding. <laughs> just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I was just telling about, and that's how I got my snowboard binding. Yeah, sure. Uh, fine. Next one. Uh, you think someone waves at you? So you wave back, but they were waving at someone else behind that you. has happened to me so many times. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times because I, I know a lot of people sure. and a lot of people recognize me and a lot of people like, but I'm really bad at names and exactly. I mean, I have people come up to me all the time. Oh, how have you been? What are, I have no fucking idea who you are. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, if somebody's waving in front of me, I, always think it's for me and it almost never is <laughs> but yeah I, you wave but you wave back or oh absolutely yeah just hey. like, oh, yeah, yeah absolutely i'm yeah. the same way oh yeah uh, that i yeah i like oh hey what's what's going on and yeah. then they just yeah. walk past podcast you. hosts nas- uh, laughing right. on the sidelines absolutely and then no it's for somebody else and then i just they probably for me. you yeah. think hey they must have saw my snowboard binding <laughs> yeah how about you, Derek? I wave at the guy behind them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, that way I'm covered. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then it's me, and I'm like, oh, my bad. Man. <laughs> I, was, I was waving at that mannequin. That's a genius move, <laughs> That man. is. That's very That's smart. That's a great move. Oh, man. All right, next one. You clog a toilet in a total stranger's house. What do you do? Well, about time to go. <laughs> You're in a stranger's I'm, house. I'm fucking stra- out of there. Yeah, ever, ever been to a party or something up? like that? Yeah. Like a party and you're at somebody else you've never met before, and you end up clogging the toilet, dumb and dumber style? I mean, you fucking... 
wipe your ass, take off your underwear, <laughs> fucking throw it in the trash can because you had to use something to wipe your ass, <laughs> and then you leave the room. <laughs> Who cares? Really? Blame you don't tell else. them or nothing? Why would you tell them? I <laughs> Well... You're right. You don't know. Who they don't people. know they you. They don't know you. Now, all of a sudden, you're the fucking toilet clogger guy. <laughs> if you ever wanted to have a fucking meaningful relationship with any of them, it's too late now. Yeah, but you I just ruined it. But if it's one of us three and we go to said party, they know who we are. And it's like, oh, man, no, they don't. they're the cloggers. They're the toilet clogger people. Yeah. It's one of the Jeremy's bands. Uh, <laughs> the toilet clogger people. The toilet clogger people. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just take a Sharpie and write surprise on the lid. <laughs> on the lid. We open it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Surprise. I like, that. I like that. But you know what? I kind of no, like No, you it. don't tell no, them. No, no, <laughs> no, I know what I want to write on there. I want to, when they open the lid, I want to write with an arrow pointing down, not for human consumption. <laughs> <laughs> But I kind of like to think of it this way. <laughs> Employees must wash hands. <laughs> it's it's their fucked up toilet, right? It, right. That, that's what they get for buying a fucking get. fucked up toilet. Absolutely. Man. So it's it's kind of on them. Yeah. So yeah, we're all bailing. Uh, last one. You say goodbye to someone and then you both end up walking in the same direction. Please tell me I'm not the only one that's done that, and it's really fucking awkward. Mm-hmm. Like you go up, you run into somebody that you haven't seen in a while and you kind of just politely kind of catch up really briefly. And it's like, all right, man, well, I got to go. I'll, I'll talk to you later. And, and you guys end up walking in the exact same direction. And you're it like, sounds like, like a really bad 70s gay porno. Oh, uh, the start <laughs> yeah, of a no. really bad 70s. No, like at the porn. grocery store. This doesn't ever happen to you. No, uh, no. I'm, I make I make an immediate turn. I, I like I have to. It's well, usually it's as soon as I get done signing the autograph, they step away. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then I, it takes me a minute to put that put the pen up. And, okay. All that, so. Oh, no. I, yeah. I make a total, What I'll, I'll make it a point to go out of my way to go a different direction. Because it's just way too awkward. It's, I, I don't know, it, to me it is. Uh, you needed corn chips, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I'll go to the other side of the store. What you're supposed to do is go. Are you following me? No. <laughs> Are you you're like, all right, me? we'll see you later. All right. Last one, the door's queer. <laughs> <laughs> Just run. That's how I leave every time. I don't care what way I'm going. And JP walks as mm-hmm. slow as he possibly can. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, that I'm is... in the Midwest. You can do that here. That's true. True. Um, Very true. What is that old Yeah, fucking, it's expected, really. What is that fucking joke where it was like, I was with my brother, and when we were kids, and my brother jumps in the pool and is like, last one ends gay. And I never jumped into a pool again. <laughs> and to this day, he's still gay. <laughs> uh, nice. All right. <laughs> Moving on to questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for these, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, first one. <clears throat> A successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with a blank. Blow job. <laughs> I was going to say swallow. Yes. Swallow. Uh, that'll get you. You have to swallow. Every time. Good game butt slap. Man. Yep. No. Yeah. Not enough. That's, that's it. That's And, and that's totally not acceptable, enough. I think. Yeah. Not yeah. If you want to be a car salesman. Well, yeah. I mean. Derek knows mm-hmm. about that. I'm just saying. No. Fine. Don't. Uh, moving on. Next one. If you were a transformer, what vehicle would you turn into? Here's the deal. <laughs> You're roughly the size of a smart car. Why don't you say smart car? <laughs> I was. I always I, I used to think about this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. I did. Like he I really was, has a good answer for no, this cuz like cuz I remember watching the first Transformers yeah. movie and I was like, "How did they make the black Transformer a fucking Pontiac Sunfire?" <laughs> Like, that is the worst thing they could have done. How does that fucking Transformer not be a fucking pimped out fucking Cadillac or some shit? <laughs> right. And then they could have had a white trash Transformer, and it could have been like a mobile home. Like sure. from uh, the one from fucking no. Christmas Vacation. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. one yeah. of those one shitty. Of those yeah, shit <laughs> like the crystal ship. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Go into one of those, yeah. you know, and then you could have like a Mexican one. He could be a... Leaf blower or something. <laughs> a leaf blower. A leaf blower. Automa- automa- uh, nail gun. <laughs> nail gun. No, just like an old truck with like the last name and like uh, old English writing in the back window for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
I did this just so you guys could. There can be an Asian one, and it can just be wrecked. It doesn't matter. (laughs) (laughs) And it's a female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) right. It's a girl. Uh, I I I picked this one. It's like Optimus, Starscream, (laughs) Curb Rash, (laughs) Curb Rash. Uh, I did this one just so you guys can make fun of me, but uh, the Plymouth Prowler. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a prowler. I just I was like, all right, let's just go ahead and do it. I was gonna do that one or the fucking smart car because it's small. Uh, I, I was I said that I wanted uh, the VW thing. Okay, is what I would want. That's to be. very your style. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's the? Uh, no, god damn it. I was trying to think like a micro machine. That's what I would turn into. It'd be mm-hmm. like either that or one of those like little four wheelers that were battery powered when we Dude, were kids. Micro <laughs> machines were fucking badass. I I'm getting on Amazon when I get home or fucking <laughs> They're still get me there. some micro machines. They're still there. You can Man, totally I'm playing still micro get machines all week next week. Fuck yeah. I know what I'd be. What'd you be? Food delivery truck. Yeah, there you go. Good call, man. I'd be a fucking so food truck. true. That's what I would be. Man, that's so true. <laughs> yep. They're a gravy truck. <laughs> they don't have gravy truck. I'd just be a, well, food. They be do a now. food truck. Just gravy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, I, would, I would know if they had a gravy truck. I know where all the food I trucks know. are. Okay. Um, next one. If extra lives were a thing in the real world, how would you get them? Kill a cat. Hmm. They've got nine of those motherfuckers. I was going to say take someone else's life. Well, okay. Ooh, that's dark. That, I like it, it. It is. Yeah, I like it. I like the cat better because they have nine of them, and it's just easier. Derek Derek is going to live forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about right. you, Derek? Um, I'm going to go kind of Mario-esque, uh, okay. stomping on turtles. <laughs> stomping on turtles, <laughs> yeah. of course. I just like wow. this picture, some 70-year-old like dude I going like to the answer. zoo. He's like, come here, motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Daddy needs to live. <laughs> I, I was kind of being sinister, but I was thinking for Derek, it'd be like drive home drunk successfully. So oh, yeah. every time you make it, you get an extra Dude, life. I'm crushing it. <laughs> this is going to be, yeah. this is going to be a hell of a memorial video too. When that comes up and I'm talking about how good of a drunk driver I am. Yeah. yeah. And then it's going to be like, in the arms of an angel. He's, he basically is the game genie version of that where it just, 100%. yeah. hundred percent. man. Uh, anyways all right next one what's uh hold on a second. oh yeah what's a weird thing you would make socially acceptable if you could not eating ass <laughs> what that i would make that if yeah if not eating ass was socially acceptable i would do i would make that do you want it to be not socially acceptable for people to eat ass no Whoa. I, want, I want not eating ass to be like oh you don't eat ass me either dude <laughs> that's that's what I want. I think everybody has to eat ass now. Oh, wow! J- yeah. So I'm gonna go not eating ass. That is not something I mean, that I think I want to I've been to doing it for a while. It's not a new <laughs> thing for us. Okay, fine. That's. I was uh, I was gonna say free well, the. Well, you got the wrong scented bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. Fruit, right. punch. Fruit punch. Fruit punch, baby. Yeah. Should have got ass. Yeah. yeah. See, I was gonna go with the free the tatas movement, but. The people that would be like all in for oh, that. Oh, you don't want to see that. Some disgusting Derek. looking. Yeah. Yeah. Derek. That's like Derek. the new. Like, he just have his titties beach. hanging out. Yeah. That's, nobody wants to see it, that. Nobody wants to see those those women's uh, boobies. That's like a shitload of Karens just walking. Oh, it'd be disgusting. They so, just look melted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Nice. So uh, instead, I'm going to go with, uh, you know, uh, driving home drunk. I think uh, we'll go back to that one. Just being That's like, a good one. I like that that's one. Just co- it's just casual. As long as you make it there safe, nobody yeah. dies, leave them alone. Let me follow but, you home. That's like, right. right. Thank you, officer. Yeah. Be safe, you know? Uh, how about you? Something that's not socially acceptable now, that, but kind of yeah. used to be. Or no, that you want it to be. you would want it to be. Want it socially to be. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, nothing? No, I mean. Child pornography? Anything like that? I don't know. I was just Damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Easy, Jared. No kidding, man. I, I was just kidding. Wow. wow. Oh, God. I get one diss, one man. backhand smack. But that's and I a get bad the, one. Yeah, that is a bad one. Yeah, man. I even check with their parents to make sure they're at least 18. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, um, there's got to be something. Like, I don't know, like bo- like professional bowling 
all star. I don't know. <laughs> all star bowling. <laughs> now you're just saying words, yeah. man. Yeah, I've for got, no reason. I've got nothing. I don't really have anything. I do have one. I think for you. Yeah. I, I think that you you want pot to be legal everywhere. No. 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 Then really? it doesn't make any money. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. Fuck. Yeah, man. My bad. All right. Well, uh, well. If you if you think it's, I wish it was socially acceptable. No, I, I mean I can't. I got nothing. Okay, fine. Wait, wait. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Okay, last one. What is the funniest thing you've seen a stranger do in public? Hmm. God, there's a couple. When I was in Costa Rica, I watched a 60-year-old dude practice nunchucks in his backyard. <laughs> really? That's awesome. Uh, driving down on the south side, I saw the guy in the summertime that was holding a mattress down with it. He was about 82 pounds holding the mattress, and that was the tie-down. Oh, as they were driving? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was That's good. funny. Uh, God, I saw a meth head uh, take off five jackets, four pairs of pants down to just shorts and a t-shirt, <laughs> do push-ups, put them all back on, do more push-ups. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, pretty much all meth head stories are great. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the the dance videos with, like, um, Michael Jackson mu- music in the background are fucking classic. They're, 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 oh, yeah. they're timeless. Oh, yeah. Um, I, 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 I've got another one that I, I no bullshit when I was in uh, college, I didn't know who the student was, but all of a sudden on campus, there was a dude that went streaking and he put a tube sock around his dong and ran all around. And then once it got caught on, they were like security people out looking for him. But from our dorm, we had a balcony and we could actually see him like running evading, evading. evading that's funny. him. It was, it was, pro- cool. it was really funny. It was awesome. So that's mine. Nice. How about nice. you? So it's the funniest thing I've ever, yeah. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. We, had, when I was working at, uh, the convenience store, that I worked at for many a year. Um, there was an old drunk guy that uh, we used to have our pop out on the sidewalk, mm-hmm. like 12 packs on display. And he grabbed a couple and tried to run away with it. But there's a fence that runs on either side of the store. And by the time he was so drunk, by the time he got to the end of that fence, he just fucking fell over and passed out. <laughs> so what I did, so what I did, of course, was go into the store and write off one of those instant cameras <clears throat> and propped him up beside me and put my arm around him, took some pictures, <laughs> took all kinds of pictures, and then called an ambulance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh that God. was that was pretty awesome. In uh, 2016, when the Cubs won the World Series, uh, I was with my buddy Brian. And when the game, a, f- a few things happened that game that was fantastic. Uh, my friend Steve, Brian, uh, Steve's now fiance, uh, and Bo were all sitting at the table watching game six. And uh, the bases were loaded, and Addison Russell come up. And uh, I said, Man, if Addison Russell hits a grand slam here, I'll buy the whole table a round of shots. And Steve's like, If Addison Russell hits a grand slam here, I'll <laughs> suck everybody at the table's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Next pitch. <laughs> Over the wall, grand slam. I was like, five Jaeger bombs, you're up. <laughs> and then they won the next game, game seven, and they wouldn't let anybody out the front door because it was already capacity in front of the stadium. So you all had to go out the back door. <laughs> and we're all trying to get to the front to the, of the stadium. It's just a sea of fucking people. You can hardly move, but everybody's pushing towards. And once you get towards the stadium, there's a bunch of horse cops. That's uh, the no police. Just oh, horses. you said horse cops. Hold yeah, on, huh? yeah. got me excited <laughs> yeah. there for a second. Yeah, uh, they were horses with nightsticks. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> yeah. they were they were standing by this by the this bar- barricade, and they're like, "Hey, you can't. You got to go back." And so there, everybody is that is pushing forward. Now people are pushing backward, and it's so very it's easy just... to get trampled. It's a sea of fucking shit. And so at this point. I want to get to the marquee, and Brian knows I want to get to the marquee, and he wants to see it too. So we're cutting through these fucking yards. My fat ass takes like about six minutes to climb this wrought iron fence. <laughs> I finally get over it. Granted, Brian's a little bit bigger than me at the time, and he is nimble. <laughs> um, and I, But what was funny was as we end up going through these people's backyard, and Brian is like, 
I'm like, fuck, there's a privacy fence. And the fucking motion light goes off. And I'm like, we got to get the fuck out of here. And Brian's like, hang on a minute. And he hops up on that bottom rung of the fence, of the privacy fence. And he looks over. And then that whole section of privacy <laughs> fence just goes. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> fucking laughing and scared at the same time. Because I'm like 30. You know? And I'm just, I'm giggling so That's fucking awesome. hard. <laughs> And then I will wrap up my very last one. I don't care who you are. It's funny every fucking time. But if you go to a public pool with a high dive and somebody jumps off that motherfucker and belly flops, yeah, that's great. that is the best thing ever. So that is mine. All right. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Again, you can send those to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Twitter at L-O-T Sidelines or on Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Um, last week, uh, what the fuck did we draft anyway? There were things about adult. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and I apparently accidentally forgot to put an emoji on Derek's picture. I am sorry. I did not mean to do that on purpose. And it didn't matter. He, he won anyway. He still won. He yeah. still fucking won. Good for Derek. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and most people said that the last pick that you had was pretty much the, the sealing the deal. So It was a good pick. Good picking. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means that Derek gets the championship picks this week. JP came in second, so he gets the sandwich picks like he yeah. loves it. And I get the Scotty You Suck pick, which is the first pick. And this week's draft is going to be our, or well, the worst smells. Okay? Okay. Worst smells. And uh, I'm going to pick my 101. And I know it's not going to be your guys' 101, but I am going to go with vomit. Ooh. That I don't care if it's human vomit. I don't care if it's dog vomit. But if I have to clean it up, I'm puking as well. It's, okay. it's no bueno for All me. Right. JP, your first pick, dude. Uh, I am going to have to go with vagina. <laughs> of course. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Patooey. <laughs> no. Ugh. It just smells like an ear. I had to say it. I mean, I had to go with it. I mean, it's definitely got to be my number one. It does. And you could have uh, held off on the to, for the last one, but you didn't. No. I got be I got good ones. Man. Right. You don't All worry right. about me. Derek, you get the championship picks. You get two. Rancid oh. milk. Rancid milk, okay. or spoiled milk. Mm -hmm. That's what rancid means, Scotty. Very uh, good. Yeah, but not not many people use the term rancid. It's normally spoiled milk. So, okay. uh, but anyways, uh, Derek, rotten eggs. Fuck! That was the one I was thinking would come back. Now, oh, did not. God. There goes all your picks, man. Oh, now, man. rotten eggs, man. That's that's yeah, that's a damn good <laughs> pick, uh, JP. So you can this basically it's comfort. Oh comfort. God. Comfort. Or meef. Okay, yeah. yeah. We're gonna we're meef. gonna use that. Meef. Meef. That, okay. that might have just won the draft. Okay, so you picked rotten eggs. Can I pick deviled eggs? Yeah, no. you want to. They're too Egg, No, eggs. man. You fucking they're the, cheating the, son of a they're bitch. They're different because ev uh, so many people love the smell love of deviled, deviled eggs. eggs and know. they love deviled, love deviled eggs. eggs. I can't fucking stand it. It's just, it's fucking. And I hope you awful. invite me to a barbecue, man. <laughs> uh, deviled eggs are the fucking, best. Yeah, you yeah, guys, you got, if go to, invite me to a barbecue anytime, you can have all the deviled eggs you want. Because you won't yeah. ever have to worry about me. My wife Dope. makes fucking amazing deviled eggs. Okay. I am going to pick. Um, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick body odor. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. Mm, depends on whose. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't care if you're all natural. No, thank you. JP, next one. Uh, smegma. Smegma. Uh, not great. <laughs> uh, it's kept me from sucking many a dick. Um, Manscaped has a product called Ball Deodorant. You should look into no, it. No, that yeah. doesn't help Smegma. It doesn't? Mm -mm. No, okay. And Different Derek, region. <laughs> Derek, you get two. Uh, Scotty's wrists. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Were you going to take that one? No. Yeah, 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 I was going to take I, it. I wasn't, but that is a damn yeah. good callback. <laughs> yeah, way, yeah. way to go, buddy. Uh, oh, boy. And I am going to go with... 
I know a lot of people like the smell of it. Uh, I'm not going to say that. Let's go with ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just ass. ass. <laughs> That is. Like it depends. Like mine doesn't smell, man. I stay. I stay ready. Oh no! Oh no! No ass. Yeah, that is. Okay, fine. How do I miss that? How do I think about that? Mine minute? smells like Dracar Noir. <laughs> it's potpourri. Yeah. All right, JP, you get one. Um, have I said vagina? You did. Okay. Well, um, salmon. Ooh, really? Yeah, same thing. Same thing, really. The other pink meat. <laughs> the other pink meat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's gross, man. I can't. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, most salmon patties in particular, like when somebody's making salmon patties. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. It's nasty. Yeah. Oh. I, uh, I'm i going to take uh, for, okay, <laughs> wrist. Be made to make it plural. Yeah, okay. you wrote wrist. I got to change it to wrist. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to go with bad breath. Mm-hmm. Okay. That that is awful, absolutely terrible. And then, um, God damn it, I've got a I've got a couple, and I don't know. There's one that's that that is true for me, but a lot of people really fucking like it, and so I'm not gonna go with it. But I will. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with a uh, a porta potty. Oh yeah, yeah that's stink. a good one, man. Those so, definitely reek. So you that, said some people like it? No, some people like the other one that I was. Oh, gonna okay. Pick. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck likes the smell of a porta potty? <laughs> There's somebody for everybody, JP. Yeah. They've got those urinal cakes in there. It's just delicious. <laughs> you, they, some guy walks into the state fair. One ticket, please. What do you mean? Uh, okay, well, for five more dollars, you can get 30 ride tickets to go. <laughs> nope, I don't need any ride tickets. I'm just here to smell the porta potties. <laughs> God. Uh, well, what is your last pick there, JP? Anything lemon scented. Okay, so okay. You, you. I'm a, not a lemon guy. Okay, so the, you did. Like you, lemon pledge, for instance. Oh, fucking oh, horrible. Horrible. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's got some sitting right there. Nice. Not that it's ever been fucking used. <laughs> I mean, but. Uh, well, yeah. you know, that's what I'm, that's my goal this weekend. Yeah, that's what you said last week. I know. Didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't. And then it turns out you didn't do shit. Got this shit weekend. faced. That's what I got, did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Derek, you're the last pick of the worst smells draft. Oh, my finger. No. <laughs> <laughs> smell it. Yeah. No. It's my finger. No. Dude, no. Seriously. Smell it. No. That's because it smells like your last pick. And don't put Derek's finger, just put my <laughs> finger. Okay, fine. Do we have any honorable mentions? Cat piss. Yeah. That is a bad one. That is a bad that one. That is a bad one. The man. one the one that I I was going to pick, but a lot of people really like it. It me and Jeremy Joseph have this coconut. same thing and it's coconut. Co- so I was gonna say vanilla. Coconut. Vanilla is that like that for it me just too. Makes me fucking gag. Yeah. Um but like being being on an ambulance and shit like that, that some bodily fluids like decomposing flesh is um, fucking yeah. awful. I mean, that's Burnt pro- hair, pretty good one. Burnt Burnt hair, hair is yeah. another good yeah. one. Oh yeah. my god! Just alcohol, like when somebody's been drinking a lot. Oh, no. I can't like the. Oh, that, it's that's my cologne. Oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Sex Panther cologne. Yeah, Sex, Sex Panther, Panther yeah. cologne. Sex Panther. <laughs> smells like Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should have picked that yeah. Bigfoot's dick. Fifty percent of the time, it works every time. Uh, Tyrannosaurus dicks. We got some of those up on the desk. Anything else? Nothing at all. Yeah, I kind of ran out there for a little bit too. Right. Ranch. Uh, ranch. Yeah, ranch hates, is uh, fucking awesome. He hates oh. ranch dressing. Oh, I, uh, ranch I don't. I don't love it either. Oh, but I at the same ranch. time, oh. yeah, that's no, not. All right. Well, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft of the worst smells. You can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji. I will have it fixed for Derek this week. Um, And vote for your favorite list of the worst smells. Vote for JP. Yeah, man. Vote for me. (laughs) Yay. Go JP. All right. Well, Meef, 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 meef. meef. (laughs) Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week arby's we got the The (laughs) beast (laughs) 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation, sponsored to you by Bang or Fanger Bang Beer. <laughs> Banger Fang Beer. <laughs> Banger yeah. Fang. Banger uh, Fang Beer. I mean, kind of, kind of, sort of, uh, but uh, it's also sponsored by the World Baseball Classic, and Derek has a story to tell about it. I don't have a story to tell about it. Oh, I thought you were going. No, to I was just talking, <laughs> talking about that dude from Cuba. Did you see that guy? The one that de- defected. defected. Yeah, <laughs> the big red machine. That's the name of their. Is that's it? what they call their baby. The big red machine. It's uh, dude. It, they're it's good. sponsored by defecting. You yeah. know. Yeah, I just he thought defected? that was. Yeah, he got on the plane, played in the World Baseball Classic, and like, then just fucking I'm not fucking skipped going back. Out. Fuck, like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely, nice. I wouldn't want to go back there either. Nice. I just fuck can't wait for like next year. They saw that guy do that, and they're gonna be like, "Oh fuck, our whole team left." Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Well, you, I wouldn't want to go back there. Would you? Fuck that. I don't know, man. Classic cars are uh, all down there. Uh, oh. Lots of classic cars. Down there. <laughs> I could give a fuck. Uh, but I yeah. think that'd be kind of surreal though to walk the streets Cuba and just see like a bunch of like fifties and sixties cars driving around. Oh no, that'd be kind of cool. No, you'd have to go to a special part of the island for that. Uh, but anyways, all right. This week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: you are a transformer. Would you rather transform into a manure truck? Or would you rather transform into the bang bus? Bang bus all day. I'm Not sure. even close. <laughs> I'm sure. Not even close, man. Bang bus. You're going to get drenched in puss juice. Oh, uh, well, you know as what? As well as he juice. Right. You got to take too. the good with the bad yeah, in life. Pussy and salmon. That's what they're going to have in there. Better than shit. That's what they're going to have for food is salmon and just a bunch That's of better puss. better than being a manure. Oh, better than manure. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, somebody just being coated in other people's fuck juices all day. Yeah. day. Or coated I mean, in other people or animals' shit. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go going bang bus. I'm going to go with the manure truck. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. I, I got to. You gotta carry that around. Is that like your your like superpower as a transformer? You just shoot shit at people. That's a sweet superpower, <laughs> so, though. So wait a minute. Now now that comes into play here. Comes into play. Get it? Um, I uh, yeah. I think that now that I just thought of that, I'm going You're manure, going manure truck. truck. Okay. Absolutely. I don't care if it's gonna be like stored somewhere inside of me. I already know what that's like. So now I just get to shoot it at people. That's fucking great. I'm absolutely being the manure truck. Plus, it would be fucking hilarious to see this truck full of shit, and then all of a sudden it transforms, <laughs> and then just shit shoots just all shoots over the all fucking over the place, sky. Because yeah. it's got to go somewhere. <laughs> it's like the fireworks in Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah. It's just shit. It just fucking turns. <laughs> That's a funny fucking image, dude. Absolutely. fucking And I'm always down. I would transform all the time. Yeah. Like, fill me up, drive me by a school, here we if go. I, and see, that's the de- <laughs> If I was the bang bus, I would never transform. Nobody would ever. <laughs> I would always be the bus. I would, nobody would ever have a, even a clue I was a robot. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that would be so fun. I, I would actually think this is the first shitty situation and that it, we chose a shitty situation that I actually might like a little bit. It. Awesome. Yeah. So I like it. I um, fucking go to parades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the parades are the worst. I would Parade. fucking totally do that. <laughs> How would you like to be that like superstar transformer and everybody's just like, well, yeah, that's uh, what's the what's his name? Do you know what his name is? Optimus Prime. No, no, no. What would the no, no, what the would the shit, name of the, the manure truck? Oh man, you got to give me some time to think of that. Shit stains. Well, I mean, what else you got? Poop, poop, pooper. I don't know what. The, I don't, whatever you got, it, it doesn't matter. It, it'd be way awesome, is what it would be. <laughs> That's all I know. Gosh. All right. Does anybody, number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> that's great. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, but that's all I got for this week's Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Um, do you guys have anything coming up that you want to talk about uh, at all? April 15th, I'll be in Hutch. Okay. So um, it is, I'll tell you where it's at. Hang on because I don't remember the name. Oh, it's fine. a theater. Okay. I know that. That's my bracket in case anybody wanted to Nobody see it. Nobody ever asked me to do shows anymore. Elite. Oh, wait. That's the. That's who's producing it. It mm-hmm. is at Memorial Hall at 101 South Walnut in Hutchinson, Kansas. Cool. Are there going to be any funny people on the show with you? Uh, yeah. Me, Jeremy Rush, and Steve Peters. Cool. Oh, Steve will be in town. Uh, That'll yeah. be good. Uh, be good. Tickets are 15 bucks. Oh, totally worth it. So, And then Joe the Nose Wilk, who is a former MMA. Well, I don't know if he's former. He might still be fighting. Uh, he takes a lot of beatings. But he actually uh, trained Dave, Caveman. 
Mm-hmm. So uh, he's going to MC it. So Joe, that's cool. Joe's been yeah, right on, man. So I might cool. actually come check that out. That yeah. should be a good show. I'm excited for it. And I know David the Caveman Rickles. <laughs> yeah. I know David the Caveman Rickles. He is having his last fight uh, coming up. I'm not 100% sure. I know. I believe it's in late April, if I remember right. Yeah. But At least until she lips off again. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm going to slap that. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Um, but we got that and, uh, I do want to give another shout out to battlecorncarepackages.com. Um, I know they have their, their ball, um, coming up here. Uh, I, I haven't checked the dates. I know I'm really bad, but I always try to remember to give them a shout out. Excellent cause. Um, check them out at battlecorncarepackages.com. Again, if you have anything that you could donate to those people, they're excellent people and, uh, we want to give them all the support that we can. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, but uh, that's all I got for this week, guys. Um, thank you guys so very, very much. Uh, do start following us on Twitter. I think that's probably going to be something that I'm going to kind of move to, especially the, for the f- simple fact that they're not taking down videos and uh, and kind of like shadow banning us for being a little inappropriate. And it's not even that bad. A little inappropriate. Yeah, yeah just a little. Just you a hear little. my transformer rap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, it. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate that. That is at uh, L O T sidelines. Um, so do go and follow us on Twitter. We would sincerely appreciate it. And thank you guys uh, so very much for sharing our TikToks and uh, commenting. That helps us out a lot. And as always, guys, we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope you interview for your dream job, seal the deal with a blow job, and then find out it only pays seven twenty five an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there are jobs out there that pay seven twenty five an <laughs> yeah, hour. Still. Fuck. Uh, but if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Nothing sucks like an electro love. <laughs> until next time. The key blapping asshole. See you later, guys. Take care.